for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Aquarius, in the recent past, we've got this two of pinnacles and it's with the nine of cups. Now the two of pinnacles, it could, it could have been about two main issues at front in your mind. You probably needed to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things in the recent past. And I say this because multitasking, it would not have been your friend at that time. You may have needed to cut down on things that you were doing in order to focus on maybe just two main priorities. Your financial situation may need it to be more balanced, possibly. So you might want to be sure that you were paying attention there. And two of pentacles is with a nine of cups. Now nine of cups is one of the most uplifting pleasant cards to receive in the readings. It's only short of one cup. It's just one cup short of ten of cups. Ten of cups is the tops. So this nine of cups is beautiful. It's often known as the wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. Now the appearance of this card is usually about happiness, good things to come. It also can mean that what you want is likely to be, well it's likely that it would have came into being in your life or it could be coming. And if you are asking a yes or no type of question, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. If you were in a relationship with the Nine of Cups, it's possible that it got deeper. It deepened and became better or, or it better and sweeter. So with these two cards paired together for the recent past, with this Two of Pentacles showing up here, I'm picking up that a lot of you Aquarius, you were dealing with someone um, who probably juggled, did a lot of juggling back and forth. Uh, this person you might have been dealing with a two-timer. And it looks like this person, it looks like they might well, being that the Nine of Cups is about being feeling blessed and satisfied, I'm picking up that this person had very, a very strong desire for you. Very strong. But they had a hard time. This person might have came across or they, it seemed like they had a hard time finding energy for. Well, it might have, came, it might have seemed like the two of you had a hard time finding energy for each other. Because this person, they had this back and forth type of energy. But this person, they, they felt that you were their wish come true. So these feelings could start to come back again. That's what I'm picking up. Um, but in the recent past, which could have been a week ago, it could have been a month ago, six months ago, or it could have been more, but there's someone you were dealing with with in the recent past that had some very strong feelings for you with this nine of cups showing here and at the time they didn't do a good job of showing it all the time because they might have had someone else they were dealing with they did some juggling so let's take a look and see what's going on in the present time now we got the Page of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. The Page of Swords, it can sometimes stand for actual person in your life. If this is the case, it represents a person who is younger than you. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's a student, that's youth, that's immaturity, someone younger than you. It often indicates that a message is coming in. So it looks like you got someone that will be reaching out to you. Now in this instance, 
with a page, it may not, with a page and a sword, it may not be what you're hoping to hear. It tells us that this person, they might try too hard, push too fast, or you could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you may need to study their body language and consider how well you do or do not accept possibly, possibly some criticism. So you're likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy with this page of swords. So it's about trying to use it wisely. Now the three of pentacles is what it's paired with, which is a beautiful card in the tarot. Yeah, you see how these two people are, they're kneeling down to this man and he's showing them what he does, maybe what he does for work or what, what he actually created or something like that. And they're at an awe, they're amazed. They're like, wow. So this is a very positive card in the tarot, particularly when it comes to work or career questions. But this is a love reading, so it could be romance, family. Um, it's an overall good card in the tarot. It means that you're doing well. Now, the Three of Pentacles, it tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do, even if you don't get paid for it. It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. So, for the present time, there is someone, Aquarius, that sees you in a very positive light. You have all the qualities that they are looking for with this Three of Pentacles. Beautiful. They see you in, in a, they're very, somebody is very attracted to you. M maybe the love hasn't quite yet develop, developed yet. It's going to be a need, a need for patience. But someone sees you in a great way with this Three of Pentacles here. You're what they've been looking for. Now, this person, it looks like they, somebody will be reaching out to you. I don't know if this is the person from the past we just talked about, or if it's a new person, or someone you know. It could be a, a love interest. It could be a family member or a friend. But someone is, someone's got you on their mind. And they're thinking all good things about you. They're all good thoughts. Even though it's with a page and a sword or a page of swords, this person might, maybe they're going to not say the right things at first. Now this, like I said, could be the person that we just talked about in the past that did some, that did some juggling with. Did, did a lot of juggling. But let's see. Yeah, they don't, whoever this is, they're reaching out to you. Mm -hmm. If you're expecting to hear from someone or wondering if someone is going to call, it's more more than likely this person. Yeah, because they see you in a, in a beautiful way. So let's take a look at the challenge. Now, we got the star card, and it's with the king of swords. Now, with the star card, it's another beautiful card in this tarot. Any grief of the past is released. You could find yourself feeling really inspired, and you'll be rather more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. Uh, you will feel more confident that your needs, they're being met, whether it's emotional or financial, or it could be both. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unfortunately that your confidence is misplaced. And this is also a spiritual card. It could mean that you could find yourself feeling, for a time, at least with one of all of creation. So, like I said, it's not a common feeling, so try to savor it. It's with the King of Swords. The King of Swords, it points to a very powerful, opinionated, forceful man. Maybe really arrogant and pushy. 
he will but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum it could go either way so you could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally particularly when this card doesn't represent an actual man in your life so try to consider the feelings of others before you act the king of swords it's a very forceful energy you may not be able to get this man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want so you may need to change something major about your behavior thoughts and or expectations but don't overextend your reach because the king of swords um, can be really opinionated they can overstep their bounds this person and they will mistreat you king of swords is known as the narcissist in the tarot so that spells ch that spells challenge in big bold capital letters so Looks like, I mean, are you dealing with someone like this, Aquarius? Or is there someone coming towards you like this? What I'm picking up is that because we got this in the recent past, we got this person here. This person keeps standing out in my, in my head. The person you dealt with in the recent past. The person that you probably um, realized was juggling or a two-timer um, because they it looks like they realize that you were their wish come true I'm picking up this is the person that might try to reach out to you you've been on their mind and they see you in a very positive way looks like somebody's reminiscing about you yeah, so they, this person might, like I said, when they reach out, they're probably, um, they probably say things that you might not want to hear at first, but then you realize that this person, they offer benefits, some type of great benefits. The Three of Pentacles is about, also about offering benefits. Um... But it looks like the challenge is that you're going to remember some negative things about this connection or some negative things that you experienced about this person or the connection. And because the star card is here, it could go a few different ways, the storyline. You could just decide to reconnect with this person because you're thinking of how it might rejuvenate you because a star card is about rejuvenation, <laughs> being hopeful, having faith. There's renewal, there's hope and inner clarity. So it looks like you, you're brought to light. No secrets are hidden about this person. You have full clarity. So when they reach out, some negative things will cross your mind. But then you might just decide to explore some positive things also. So you might give this person a chance, but I don't think you're going to do it fully. You might just have one foot in and one foot out. Because you kind of remember the negative, but you remember the positive too. So this could be a situation where you might let this person back in as a friend with benefits. Yeah. Just kind of keeping them around because you, you, you know that there's some good things about it. Because you got the three of pentacles here. It's offering benefits. And they see you in a positive light, and you see this person offer some type of benefits now. So it could be a friends with benefits situation. I'm getting that really strong. Now for the outcome, we've got the Six of Wands, and it's with the Magician. So the Six of Wands is showing that... Um, 
Well, Six of Wands, first of all, it's about victory and success. It's about recognition. I don't know if you can see the picture that well, but this is Lady. She's on the podium, and then she's got all these people below her. She's got her wand waving in the air, and then she's got all these people below her. They're waving their wand just like she is. It's about victory and success. If you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebrations. It could be a part of a graduation party, commencement celebration. Or you could be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands, it makes you feel really, really good about yourself. You could feel as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Now, it's paired with the magician. The magician, it's about new beginnings. Some type of new beginning looks like it's trying to happen here. Um, this card, it reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives. And in so many other areas of our lives and in the world, if you simply try, just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, though, just because you're the magician, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. The magician is all about action, so if you do nothing, you'll get nothing, and if you don't know what to do, then just do something, because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you will not get. Just a little side note, if there's any single Aquarius out there, I want to run this by you, since the magician is, in, is showing up in your reading, that right now, someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them. Whether or not you find them is going to depend on you. So you got to put yourself out there. Whether it's you can't do it that much face to face, but you could put your put your some pretty pictures out there on social media. You could do that. Fix yourself up real nice. If you're single, it's a great time. Like I said, someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them. Now, the outcome for this reading is that we got this beautiful Six of Wands here and the Magician. It looks like you could want a new beginning. It could be with this person or it could be with someone else. This Magician is about great new beginnings. So you could be manifesting or maybe it's your person that's manifesting a new beginning with you. Now, I'm picking up that because the Six of Wands is showing up here, let me tell you what the Six of Wands is about when it comes to love and relationships. It's got that kind of like twin flame energy, that really strong chemistry and mag magnetism to it. The Six of Wands, it suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego, while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called Fire of Balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. So you can expect a lot of sexual energy. There is passion in long nights spent in bed. That's why I'm I'm thinking this is this person that you used to see or this person you were with in the recent past. Like I said, they see you in a very positive light. They're thinking about you. They will be contacting you. They realize that you were a wish come true for them. Um, with the Six of Wands here, you might give this person a chance. You just might because uh, you remember you remember some of the good things 
and you remember how it was not so good with the king of swords showing up here not so good the star card is saying you might give it a chance it might add a little spice to your life this might be a little bit interesting at this time for you maybe you don't have um, maybe right now you're not you're free you're not seeing anyone so you're thinking how this could add some some oomph some zest to your life right now this person might have been a really good lover with the six of wands showing up here it was probably a lot it was probably a passionate relationship that's what I'm getting with the Six of Wands, so you, I'm thinking you might entertain this. For some reason, Friends with Benefits, is, it keeps popping out in my head. So this person that's trying to come towards you, um, yeah, you might just give it a shot. Because there was some great chemistry here. A lot of passion. So, with the magician here, this person could be manifesting a new beginning with you. Yeah, there's some type of new beginning that's trying to happen. So, this looks like a, a this is starting to feel like a, a really steamy, passionate really passionate uh reading here for a lot of the aquarius somebody wants to con